Welcome back to Bat Fridays here on One Comic Book a Day. Today we're covering Batman 16 and the first story, The Joker Reforms. Now the Joker Reforms, the only way cartoon characters ever change their minds. Head trauma. You see, after a stereotypical opening to a Batman comic where the Joker and his guys just get into a fight with Batman and Robin out of some place, out front of some store they are robbing, this one being a jewelry store, because, of course, it's going to be a jewelry store. He really likes the diamonds and the jewels. They go with his outfit. Big, purple, and bright. But this is not actually the opening. The opening is more of a sort of twist surprise with the Joker turning in the jewels to some really cartoony. Cartoony is going to come up quite a bit here. Western town called Far Corners, where no one seems to be all that shocked or surprised by the clown man walking around with all the jewelry. But yes, he's turned it in and has become a hero and we see how he ends up getting there he and his henchmen did escape though his henchmen bailed on the airplane as it was about to crash joker thought he could handle it but was in a crash which caused brain injuries where he now thinks he's just an average joe so we'll call him joe joker or i guess joker which is definitely a name he's gone by before but i like joe joker Joe Joker is a hero in this small town. Eventually, Batman does arrive looking for the jewels and meets the Joker, which shocks him so much that he has two faces. No, legitimately, I know what is being conveyed there in the comic, that his face is so surprised. He's turned really quickly. Still a funny image. And maybe not the best way, because usually there's some sort of motion between the two, and there's not a lot of motion in that uh, drawing. And the Joker's going to remain a good guy until he gets head trauma again, which is how, once again, cartoon logic works. And this is a Batman comic where Batman's usual weakness is being whacked in the back of the head. And if the Joker's acting like a hero, guess what's going to happen to him? Yes, his henchmen, thinking he's double-crossing them in some way, pound him in the back of the head, uh, just for Batman and Robin to stop them and the Joker to show up and be stopped himself. So honestly, we should just keep bonking him on the head until we get the version of the Joker we like. Actually, that sort of fits in a little bit with Grant Morrison's version of the Joker. Grant Morrison believes the Joker has multiple personalities, and every time the Joker is sent away to Arkham or prison, whatever happens to him currently, and every time his personality changes when he breaks out. So there is a new Joker every time Batman faces him. This is a fascinating little idea that was Morrison's attempt at explaining away all continuity versions of the Joker over the years, from the prankster to the, you know, psychopath we were introduced to, to the guy in Batman Year One who is poisoning the water supply, which never gets, like, resolved because it's the end cliffhanger. But the Joker contains multitudes. He's a multitude of Jokers. And apparently if you give him brain trauma, he turns into just some average Joe who does the right thing. As a story on the whole, this thing is really overwritten. Like, every page is just full of dialogue or exposition or that classic what's this style of Bill Finger writing that the 60s show love, wonderfully takes up. But my God, is it a slog, which I usually say when it's just so much writing, to a story that doesn't really have much going for it other than the surprise of the joker being a good guy and it's all just waiting around until someone gets bonked in the head so no i don't particularly like this story but it probably will be somewhat memorable so i'll give it that okay that is it from batman 16 the joker reforms not the joker returns that was a better story if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up i do this monday through friday but mondays and thursdays i cover a superman story in either action comics or superman and please join us next time. Same bat day, same comic book channel. Have a great day.